Hello and welcome back to the YouTube channel all about me, JK Magician and Children's Entertainer and welcome to another video. Now first of all I want to wish you all a happy new year. Welcome to 2021. Now I hope you had a fantastic Christmas and you got all the presents that you wanted. Now talking about presents, today's video is all about presents because I'm going to be going through a collection of some of my favourite Christmas presents I got this year. Now some people may be wondering what does a magician get for Christmas? Well sit back, relax and let's find out together. Right, so here's the first uh, present. I'm not going to do these in any particular order. It's just uh, my favourite uh, top uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, about eight presents I've got here today. These are sort of my favourite eight presents that I got. So the first ones is in my van, I always like to have an air freshener. And um, I got these, which are playing card air fresheners. So we've got the um, four uh, aces from a pack for air freshener. So these will definitely be going in the van. When I travel around, I like to have a nice smell in the van for when I travel, so I'm really happy with these. Um, really, really happy, can't wait to put these in. I'm not exactly sure what the smells are, it doesn't tell me what the smells are on this. Oh, there's to do black ice, new car, and lemon, which will be really, really fun. So the next present is in this little bag just here. Yes, it is a snowflake, but it's not any snowflake. This here is a multi-tool snowflake, so I'll definitely be keeping this in the van. Definitely, so you can see we've got like a little screwdriver just there, a Phillips, a flathead. Then we've got loads of different size Allen keys. I think it's got a bottle opener on as well. Now the reason I'm gonna keep this in the van is because if you get into an emergency situation, on here is a um, little tool which will smash a window or a windscreen. So I think this will be really good to keep in my van in case I get into any situation where I can't get out of the van, I can then at least use this to get out of the van in a safe way in the middle there's um so uh like a bit like a spanner in the middle two different sizes spanners so that is another brilliant christmas present so for those who've been following my channel for a little while now uh at the start of this year i done some balloon modeling tutorials and for christmas i got a little balloon model dog ornament this is a christmas tree ornament but this will definitely be out on display so far i've got another two i've got another dog and an elephant so this will be joining those on display and then at Christmas if Charlotte allows me this will be going on our Christmas tree now this is a blue metallic and um, the blue metallics the metallic balloons are quite new from the brand of balloons that I use so I'm yet to use them I might get a get a couple of bags to play around with them but the, doesn't the metallic look really nice now I do believe that this does match the metallic blue you can buy from the company where I buy all my balloons from so another favourite present which will be out on display all year round is this just here. It's a little snow globe. I'm planning on placing it on the display just behind me just here. Now it's got two pictures in, so you can see the snow in the snow globe just there. Now the first picture is one of my favourite pictures of Star in there. And on the back it's got a picture of myself, Charlie and Spike. And talking about Charlie and Spike, don't forget that in January they are having their very first episode of the Charlie and Spike show over on my Facebook page. So do go over and check that out. Now, another really practical present for me, I've got two practical presents I'm going to show you today, is this just here. Now, this is a flask, but it's got my initial on. So it's got the letter J on, uh, so I know that it's mine. Charlotte's got one as well. Now, this is going to be really handy for when I go to shows in the winter because it keeps drinks hot, really hot for ages. I've tried it out, and it does keep drinks really, really hot. Just drop the lid just there. But also, it keeps drinks really, really cold as well. So in the summer when I go to shows, it's going to be really handy as well to keep drinks really, really cold when I'm travelling. Uh, what I might even do is, because um, I've got, uh, uh, might even put water in here, so I've got some cold water for Star if we go to shows. But I, if, if the days are too hot, I don't really take Star to shows to keep it nice and fair on him. But this is going to be really, really handy. I have got other flasks that I use for fishing, but um, they're big and bulky. This one will fit into the drinks holder in the van and uh, be safe when I'm traveling. So you heard me just mention about fishing. Uh, I have mentioned that I go fishing on my YouTube channel before, and in 2021, hopefully I'll be doing a couple of fishing vlogs for everybody, because I don't know how shows are gonna be gonna be going in 2021. Um, we just don't know what's gonna happen, but at the moment, I uh, believe we are still allowed to go fishing, and I got a fishing present. Yes, um, I've needed to get one of these for a while now, but I just haven't bought one but then uh, Charlotte very kindly got me one for Christmas which is a brand new fishing chair I won't unfold it all here now because you'll see it in the vlogs 
but it's a brand new one um, much better than the old one that I had it's got adjustable legs on it so if you're fishing on a slope you can level the seat out and I'm really really grateful for getting that it's a brilliant brilliant fishing chair um, I've sat in it in the kitchen uh, most days now uh, just to get used to it get used to the feel of it and I absolutely love it now this one is one of my ultimate favorite ones it came in this box like this this is from my mum and dad I had no idea what it's gonna be no idea and when I opened it up I did find that actually it was a canvas and on the canvas is a picture of me and star you can see it just there there's me and star this is one of my favorite pictures of star this is one of the main ones that I advertise with and this will be going up on my office store my probably or in my office above where my laptop goes when I edit and do all the paperwork so I can keep looking up and uh, there will be a nice thing to look at uh, when I'm doing that to keep me motivated and um, yeah that'll be lovely in years to come to be able to look back at this and remember star when unfortunately that time happened I don't want to talk about that just yet but this is absolutely brilliant I absolutely love this as a Christmas present so the last present I'm going to show you which got bought for me and Santa delivered was this just here I've been after one of the, uh, a set of these for absolutely ages and it is one of these this is a Punch and Judy stamp collection yep so back in 2001 I believe I think it does say on the back here uh, 2001 yep 4th September 2001 these were issued and you can see there is an entire collection of Punch and Judy stamps so we've got the policeman Joey the clown Mr Punch Judy the baby now there is a beadle uh, in some Punch and Judy shows and the crocodile and the string of sausages now these were actually made, all the puppets on here were made by a very good friend of mine called Brian Clark, Professor Jingle, so he's a Punch and Judy performer and also a Punch and Judy maker. I'm really good friends with Brian, I've known Brian for quite a few years now and uh, he, he lives really local to me. Now not only do you get the stamps with these, you also get a nice little pouch as well. So they've got some information on the back about the stamps when they were released in the uh, um, who done the typing for this? Who done the artwork? Who done? Who made the puppets? Now, not only this, you can see on the front of this, there's a Punch and Judy booth. So it says half hour fun for all the family. A ch child shouting at he's behind you, saying next twelve, next show is twelve noon, twelve o'clock. And then on the back of the Punch and Judy booth, there's a child sneaking in to try and have a look at how the Punch and Judy show is done. And then when you open it up, you get to see just here all of the puppets hanging in the Punch and Judy booth ready for the show and then you get to see the Punch and Judy performer performing the Punch and Judy show just there. Now where it says next show just here you can uh, it's perforated so you can uh, pull this out and you'll see Punch and the Crocodile in the window of the Punch and Judy booth. Now I'm not sure if I want to pull that out to have a look because I like it kept how it is in the original form but I might do that one day I've just got to make that tough choice if I'm going to do it but it comes in this nice little protective sleeve just here so again this will be put on display up in my office so I'm really really grateful for getting those as well I've wanted this set for ages and ages and ages now not only did I get presents I did get a little bit of money for Christmas as well and I have treated myself to a uh, Christmas present uh, something that I've wanted to do for a little while now was to learn the ukulele yes so um since christmas i've been uh, sitting down and learning the ukulele and you never know it may even go into my shows one day so i'm learning some songs which i might put into the show so keep your eye out i may even do a youtube video of a collection of songs just got to see how well i get on with the ukulele now unfortunately that does bring us to the end of another video and I hope you have enjoyed it. Seeing a little collection of some of my favourite Christmas presents from this year. I'd love to know what you got at home so leave a comment of your favourite presents down below. If you're watching on Facebook leave a, a comment on Facebook. Well talking about Facebook don't forget to head over there and give the page a like. Uh, I've just started to advertise again about virtual shows because here in Norfolk at the moment at the time of filming we are in tier 4 which means we can't do live shows again which is a shame but i am offering virtual shows so you can have children's magic shows family cabaret shows adult cabaret shows and punch and judy shows all via zoom and there's a little video there from a recent uh, christmas uh, Christmas virtual show so you can see how much interaction you can actually get don't forget to visit the website www.jkmagician.co.uk and of course don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss an upload remember 11:15 every single Friday but until next week stay safe and have a magical one